going on guys? How's it going today? Out on this beautiful spring day. It's the warmest day of the year. It's probably about 16 to 20 degrees in that range. The sun is beating down, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd come out for the night and enjoy the night. And uh, probably don't need a fire in the cabin, but I might uh, do some cooking over an open pit. Uh, you can't see on camera, but I have a sink here. So I'm going to go around the corner in a minute and I'll show you what I got up to that in terms of just a rudimentary sink for the summer at least. Uh, I'm going to show you my overhang for out back and uh, some of the things I've been working on there. And, uh, and then I'm also going to work on attic, uh, attic hatch this weekend is the plan. So it's a lot of work. Uh, I have a fair bit of time, uh, but with cooking and stuff, it makes it a little more tricky. So yeah, I'm going to sit back and have a couple sips of the cider and enjoy a bit more of the sunshine before I get to work. Okay, so uh, obviously I have a sink. Uh, it was donated to me by a family member, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, it's going to be a nice addition to the summer camp in terms of doing dishes and stuff like that. And just uh, maybe keeping clean in general, you know. I'm hoping to do a multi-day stay here soon. And uh, it's gonna, I think it's going to help. So uh, rather than attach it to anything at this point, this table is movable. Uh, I trimmed down the bottom so it's a little lower now, it's a little easier to eat off of, <laughs> eat off, sorry, easier to work off of, and uh, this is all going to get painted, so I, I don't want to have it attached to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm planning on building like a four post stand, literally for the sink to just set in. I don't want to uh, have it fixed or anything major, I just want to get the set in it so that I can use it, put hot water in it, wash dishes, clean up whatever so I'm probably gonna put it slightly lower if I can and then this will be like a drying rack so to speak or yeah I'm not really sure but I think I'm gonna go left to right I'm left-handed so to kind of wash rinse dry uh, that's the plan and then I was thinking maybe you know something reasonable so you're not you know bending over too much but not all the way down so I think that'll be pretty good so I'm going to go over, get some inside dimensions of this, and uh, start making some cuts and putting stuff together. Okay, so basically what I want to do is create a lip basically around here. So I'm only going to have about one inch of clearance there on each side, one inch on the back side, and about three and a half there. So that's not too bad. So basically I want a piece of wood going here. Uh, and then I want a piece of wood kind of setting there and all the way around it and uh, kind of draw it out real quick and then start making some cuts. That's the general idea right there and then what I'm going to do is basically do something like that and trim that and do that on the other side 
nail it all together, screw it all together, whatever I decide to do. And that'll be just the foundation. And then from there, I'm either gonna do posts straight up or out, or posts down these sides so it's hopefully a little more stable. Probably have to do cross braces as well, but I'll worry about that when I get there. So I did not notice these things before, so what's gonna happen is that they're gonna get in the way when it sets in. So I'm gonna have to cheat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to cheat this a little bit. Not because I want to, but it's just gonna be better that way. This will likely be taken apart and uh, remodeled, so to speak. Oh yeah. So I got lots of extra room. Probably way too much. That is all right with me. A little ugly. That looks about right right there. So now you can see uh, when I put the legs up and I do a crisscross and it'll just be, that'll be pretty much it. So I'll have to do a whole bunch. <laughs> but yeah, good start. Okay, so uh, I don't think I need to be too exact on this. I just want a rough idea. Cause I, I wanted it a little lower than this, but not a lot. I'll end up probably having to prop it up or adjust it anyways. So I'm just looking for a minimum distance Obviously, I'll have to subtract my frame from. Uh, obviously, I'll have to subtract the uh, frame from the distance, but other than that, it should be pretty straightforward. So you're going to probably look at three inches because it's two by three, so that means it's probably inch and a half. So that's three inches because it's double stacked. But I'm going to lose an inch and a half because we're going to do it on the inside. So it's only inch and a half. I'm going to take into account that it'll be lifted up a little bit. So I probably only want it 32 inches at the most. So these cross pieces were cut to about the right length, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, not really sure. We'll have to see if we can square them up a little bit after the fact. For now I think we're good. Actually, you know what, this would be a perfect time to actually do those cross braces. That's all right. Just making do. Cuckoo, choo. Hoo ha, hoo hoo. That is, is actually, well, a little wobbly, but meh. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's uh, a little wobbly, but that's all right. Uh, 
fact that I have a couple sinks to work with is fantastic. So uh, I'll be cooking up a little feast later tonight. Maybe I'll get to use it. I'm not really sure. So it is what it is. I like it. Just carrying these in lightly because there's no point in uh, hammering them all in until I kind of have them in close to the spot that I want. I'm not really sure what that is, but when I get there, I'll let you know. Okay, so it's uh, not too bad. Uh, it's a little over <laughs> on this side. And also I realized that the bracket that was put here got pulled in somehow. I'm not sure how or why, um, which speaks to my inability to be a decent carpenter. Um, but this will do exactly what I need to do. Um, it's not like it'll be any camera time for this other than this and the shingling. And then after that, I'll be forgotten about anyways. Um, it's solid, so that's the important thing. And then once I tack these in, it shouldn't be an issue. I'm a little concerned about this corner here. Um, I've already hit my head on the replacement before this, so I might have to uh, do something about it at some point in time, but for now I'll just have to try and be a little careful. Maybe put a little bit of red tape or something in there just to try and catch my eye before I start rounding corners and stuff. The first one I'm going to put on upside down because I want it to uh, kind of think this through here. Yeah, I want it to have a little overhang, just a light one. So. I don't know how many nails I've lost just because they're all stuck together. Because they're galvanized. Kind of annoying, but they'll last longer than regular nails, that's for sure. Okay, well, I got her all done. Uh, it's not that great. It's okay. I mean, it made some errors. Uh, that's the way it goes when I'm trying to jimmy rig everything. Um, I put a top cap on there for now, and the plan is is to get uh, probably another one by six, two of those actually, and then use it and put trim across it, and then we'll paint that and make sure it's nice and uh, sealed, and then we'll caulk the top of it so water can't drip down underneath. So I think that will that will suffice our journey for that. But I'm pretty happy with it overall. I mean. Again, it's just been dealing with little challenges, not being a carpenter and just kind of managing what's going on. So I think it went well. It looks okay. I'm not going to really be looking at it. Nobody's going to be really looking at it. So I don't really see the issue other than the fact that it will keep the water off of anything underneath it within reason. So pretty happy with it. I need to get a fire going because I am hungry and you get some heat.
Okay, that was a long afternoon, a lot of work. It's gonna pay off in the long run. I'm happy with the sink. I think I'll uh, wanna add in a hose so that I can drain it out more properly, but for now, it'll be fine. It's just biodegradable soap and food for the most part. So it's not the end of the world at this point, but I definitely will look for a hose or something like that to kind of round it all out. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna get this fire up and proper and um, I'm gonna make some chili tonight. And my girlfriend's probably coming out for a little bit to have supper. And then I'll be probably maxing and relaxing for the night. Or I might work on making that uh, ladder I have there, but mm, we'll see. See how I feel, I'm pretty tuckered out. And it's been a long, hot, sunny day, so much deserved for sure. So well, I better get to it. Well, the day's wrapping up. It's been probably one of the best days this spring so far. Uh, way warmer. Uh, temperatures are great. I don't even think I'll need a fire inside the cabin. So it's kind of sad. That's the end of the year for that in regards to indoor fires, most likely. I mean, you might get the odd chilly night, but for the most part, it's probably done. <sighs> yeah, good day. Lots of work done. I think I'll just uh, sit back, have my cider, and enjoy the sunset. Not that I'm looking at it, considering it's behind me, but enjoy it any which way. And as it cools down, I'll meander my way. Well, I can't see it because of the smoke. Ooh. I'll meander my way into the cabin later on and sit back and relax and get, get everything ready for bedtime and get a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow morning, I think I'll try and build the attic hatch and the ladder. And um, hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. It's supposed to rain in the afternoon, so hopefully I can get that done and maybe have some bacon and eggs in the morning as a treat. And uh, yeah, the sink works really well, by the way. When my girlfriend's here, we had chili, as you saw, and um, it was really good. And uh, it's just nice to be able to clean up and get things organized. I do need to get a hose for that ASAP so I can drain a little better to a better area. But outside of that, it, it works great. So. Exactly what I needed, and uh, yeah, things are looking up. I'm wiped right now. I'm totally wiped. 